Why do we feel the need to help one another? What is altruism and empathy? Have you ever considered these questions? This presentation may help you learn the answer to these questions and learn more about yourself and your surroundings. An extensive range of differing views surrounds the subject of altruism and selfless behaviour. A common notion suggests that helpful behaviour can be guided by two differing sources. Behaviour can be altruistically motivated or motivated by universal egoism. Batson believes that through the development of a deeper understanding of the emotion empathy and the motivation of altruism, there is potential to influence a more caring society. Have you ever stopped on the street when you see someone living in poverty and felt emotions of sadness and compassion and are able to empathise with their situation? Or maybe you have felt immediate discomfort at their unfortunate situation and tried to move by as quickly as possible. These emotions you feel are motivating you to participate in some form of action. In understanding the emotion of empathy, some suggest it is the reaction of one individual to the observed experience of another. This emotion is important as it allows the regulation and cooperation towards shared goals and richer social interactions. Empathy is an emotion that once felt allows you to swiftly and instinctively understand and relate to an emotion that another may be experiencing. The idea of altruistically motivated action or action motivated by universal egoism is supported by Batson and colleagues in that they found there are two distinct types of congruent emotional responses to witnessing and then perceiving another individual in need. The first emotional response to perceiving another in need is personal distress, involving one being alarmed, upset, worried, disturbed, distressed and troubled. The second emotional response to perceiving another in need is feelings of empathy, involving sympathy, being moved, compassionate, tender, warm and soft-hearted. Think. Which emotions in these two categories apply to you more? Altruistic behaviour is said to provide benefits to the people who are being helped, whilst providing no benefit to the helper, and may possibly incur a cost to that person helping. There is a hypothesis established by Moore that suggests happier people are more attentive to the world around them, maybe noticing those people living in poverty, and through the emotion of empathy are more likely to stop, take notice, and demonstrate altruistic behaviour. In comparison, findings also suggest the sadder the individual, the more focus is put on oneself and less on their surroundings. This suggests that environmental factors of emotion play a large role in determining the altruistic motivations within a person. This hypothesis can be witnessed in everyday instances and often illustrated in the patterns of charitable donation. As happier people tend to consider time to engage in conversation and as a result donations occur, where unhappier individuals may not. Social exchange theory is a psychological perspective that seeks to explain reason behind the social exchange between people. This theory states that human relationships are formed with the use of a subjective cost-benefit analysis and the comparison of alternatives. Social exchange theory suggests that motivation to do kind gestures does not exist unless the benefits of the action outweigh the costs. This is established to be universal egoism. However, the idea that this is the only motivating factor behind helping has been effectively challenged with Batson's research. Batson's research establishes an idea of the empathy altruism hypothesis, which is the direct opposite of social exchange theory. Empathy altruism hypothesis suggests that regardless of the costs one may experience as a result of altruistic behaviour, when empathetic concern is felt, one will help another person regardless of what they will gain as a result of helping. Questioning this area of motivation and the source of altruistic behaviour can allow a deeper understanding of how an element of society functions. Finding out how we as humans are similar and different is what helps us develop a basic and beneficial understanding of ourselves. Looking into the emotion of empathy and creating awareness about the multifaceted areas that this one emotion holds is beneficial, especially when combined with developing an understanding of how that emotion can motivate altru altruistic actions. Other people can be more to us than sources of information, stimulation, gratification and reward as we seek our own welfare. We have the potential to care about them for their sakes, not simply our own.